today we are here to make our little zippered mesh bags. Um, we give you um, about a yard of fabric and we gave you mesh and zippers enough to make at least four of the bags. And so it's a fun little project. You can um, use these to carry your computer cords, your sewing, your toiletries, whatever it is that you want to do. But it's a really easy little project that we're doing this month. So today's project is our mesh zipper bag and the pattern that we created for you has a couple of different sizes and two different ways to do the bottom. And so for each bag, you need a zipper, four, um, eight pieces of fabric cut to size and two pieces of mesh. So um, if you notice our fabric has a one-way print. So if you have a fabric that has a one-way print, you wanna make sure that as you're making the bag that each, that the print is always going in the proper direction. So see, I've got, one way here, one way. So I need to make sure that those are all flipped the proper way. So we're gonna take and put um, one piece of fabric uh, right side up. We're going to put the mesh down and then we're gonna put the second fabric uh, right side um, down. So we have the two pieces of fabric with the mesh sandwiched in between and we're gonna sew a quarter inch seam allowance. And so we'll do that for both pieces of mesh. So we sewed our quarter inch seam allowance and then we pressed our fabrics away from the mesh and then did a zigzag stitch along the top edge to finish off the edges. You can either use a zigzag stitch on your sewing machine or you could actually use a serger if you have one. And then what you're going to do next is you're going to lay your zipper right side down over the um, seam there and then we're going to sew this. Um, with a zipper foot close to the edge of the zipper there. Um, usually you have a zip, we sent enough zippers to do about four projects um, and the zippers are longer so you just cut off the excess. This is one that actually is just about the right size but um, I actually like to use a zipper that's bigger than what um, I um, am going to be using and then I can just cut off what I don't need. Okay, so I um, sewed the zipper and then I Pressed, um, pressed the fabric over and then top stitched it. And then when you get ready to put the other side on, you wanna make sure that when you lay this down on here, that your outer edges all line up so that your bag will be nice and straight. So now I'll go over and sew my seam um, down the zipper on this side. Okay, so I top stitched both sides together. So that's the zipper part of the bag. And next we're going to then put the bottoms on the same way that we did um, the uh the top so um i need to look at that actually it's like this okay so we'll put one on the bottom have the net the mesh and then we're going to put one on the top and sew our quarter inch seam lines and we'll do that on that end and then also on this end Okay, so now um, if you wanted to make this just a flat little um, zip bag, you would just sew everything up. But we're going to box the corners, so I'm going to um, draw a little one inch square on each corner and cut those squares out. So I'll get that drawn and sew the sides and the bottoms together. So this is really important. After you cut the, um, the corners out and you put it right sides together, Make sure that you have unzipped the zipper about halfway because we're going to sew up the side, the bottom, and this side. And so we really need to make sure that zipper is open so that when we get ready to turn this right side out, we can actually do that. So I'm going to go sew this with a quarter inch seam allowance all the way around. Then I'll zigzag my raw edges. Okay, so we're going to take the corners and we're going to flatten the corner out and match up the seam allowance from the bottom and the top. And then I like to offset the seam so this one would be going this way this one would be going that way and it makes it a lot easier to match up that that seam and then we're going to sew a quarter inch across each corner and then um, zigzag the edges so we have our corners boxed and we are finished with our bag so i'm going to turn it right side out push all the corners out And you have a great little travel bag. You could put, um, and what I like about the mesh is that you can see through it. So I can put my computer cords in here. I could put sewing accessories. I could put makeup, just anything that I want. So you can make lots of different sizes of these and they just turn out really, really cute. Thanks for being with us today. And we hope that you will like our Facebook page and Instagram and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Have a great day.